Hello, viewers. This is Cynthia Michael from Screw You Review, bringing you a new podcast in my segment called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to be too hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to adult language. What's it doing? If you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will will change your adult language if you're under 18. If you're over 18, then you should good to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, so anyway, let's get into the latest episode of Real Soldier, Real Soldier, episode 13. So basically, this episode start off, we see, we see, we see, we see, we see Cole, we see Cole, Meadow, Oshawa, and, and Noble at that, at, 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 at his lab, at his lab, watching TV about, about a about her about a female Japanese prime minister who who who's in the hospital after after she faded. So basically, like you know, so basically you know, Cole, uh, so basically Cole Oshawa and Mel was kind of uh, was kind of fascinated about the story and Mel was explaining that oh uh, that uh, that she's the first female she's the first female prime minister in Japan. So basically that she's a very important person. So anyway so anyway and that's when we who's on the computer to, uh, you know called uh, called them over and she found pictures of of the female of the female prime minister that did it back three hundred years ago. So basically like you know so basically we seen that uh, saying that the female prime minister is so according to these pictures, uh, you know that that that, our, that the first female prime minister is actually three hundred years old. So basically, she so she must be in so basically so basically she must be she must be some type of immortal. So basically that that got cold that got cold also also melt kind of wondering. Wondering how, 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 wondering about that. Anyway, meanwhile, in the hospital where the female prime minister was, was in, you know, Misty Tora and Bam used to used to conceal wheel cells to get past get past her security guard to enter her hospital room. Turns out, turns out that it turns out that the female prime minister is actually 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 a person from. From the uh, from the Wheel Soldier Tribe Village. So basically, you know, so as you guys know, or some of you don't know, that the that the Wheel Soldiers have been, uh, the people from the Wheel Soldier Village live, live uh, have has this long lifespan. Like you know, they can live very a uh, a very fucking long time. So basically, I would say, you know, the Wheel Soldiers are kind of mortal feel they don't age at all. So basically. The Prime Minister was uh, the, the Prime Minister was glad to see Bam again. Like you know, she said, "I haven't seen you since you were little." So basically, Taro was like, "What the hell?" Like, who do, do you know her? Do, do you know her? And and Bam explains that you know, oh, uh, oh, she's a me- she's a member of our tr- of our tribe. So basically, oh, and Taro was like, "Oh, I did." So basically, the Prime Minister who so basically so basically Bam is like, you know, why did you call us? Here, so basically, the prime minister explained the reason why I faded. Uh, the reason why I faded that uh, uh, that a uh, mindful monster was uh, that uh, that Cleom act, uh, you know, that Cleom accidentally, you know, you know, used her, made a mindful monster from her negative emotions. So basically, so basically, you know, you know, that mindful monster is on town. So basically, so basically, the reason why I called you here is. That you know, you need to you you need to you need to off me to stop that mindset monster. But you know, but Bam is like you know, since he knows since he uh, since knows her, like you know, you know, we, we don't need to kill you. We don't need to kill you. All we need to do is stop the mindset monster uh, monster. 
stop the Minosaur Monster, you know, you know, we, all we need to do is destroy the Minosaur Monster and you'll be alright. So basically, but, you know, but the Prime Minister said, but she said that, oh, if you can't, you must do, if you can't stop my Minosaur Monster, Monster, you know, you you know what you got to do. So basically, then it's like, oh, uh, alright, you know, but, and, she, and she warned her, and she warned her that, you know, you know, I have a gift for fortune telling. So basically, the monster, like so my minus one monster might have, you know, might have, might have, might be a problem for you guys to do it because, you know, I'm good at fortune telling. So basically, my minus one monster might have the ability to, uh, you know, to predict your move. So basically, you know, if you, like I, like I said, if you guys can't destroy my minus one monster, you have to kill me. So basically, Dan was like, all right, then we'll, we'll try, we try to destroy the minus one monster. But if, if it doesn't work, if we can't, you know, if we can't, if we can't, then we're cool. Then we, then I'm like, reconsider, you know, offering you. So anyway, the prime minister, so basically they left the prime ministers or uh, hostile bed and, and and went to go deal with the and went to go went to go find this forcing teller minus or monster. Anyway, meanwhile we see watch we see watch and Creon looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> looking at a abandoned underground, uh, underground, you know, abandoned underground parking lot, and it's like you know, what's it's like? What the hell were you doing at this under this abandoned underground parking lot? So basically, Creon is Creon is funny that we don't have a base. So basically, like turns out this whole time that the jet not forces doesn't have any, any type of secret base on Earth. So basically, Creon said that, you know, we, we need a base, we need a base our operation. So basically, I figured this parking lot, this underground parking lot could be a good, a good location. So basically, Watch was kind of like, mm, you, you do got a point there. So basically, we do need a base our operation to, for, for the not forces and whatnot. So anyway, the first thing tell us, Minosaur, Minosaur monster came out of nowhere, and Zack Creon with a with a powerful beam from his chest, and Creon started to start started to express his feelings towards Watch. I mean, you know, you know. Turns out the being from the fortune teller of Minosaur Monster forces the person to, you know, you know, express their feelings about, uh, their true feelings about, you know, about something that's bothered them and whatnot. So basically, you know, so once the Minosaur Monster dragged Creon, you know, Creon would let out his feelings towards how he felt towards warts and whatnot, or how, how big an asshole so I, he, he was. So basically, like, warts was like, what the hell is wrong with you, like, you know, what the hell is wrong with you, what the hell, what the hell is wrong with you, so basically, so basically after, after, you know, what to realize that he saw the fortune teller at Minosaur Monster, and he figured that, that, that Minosaur Monster, Monster, uh, must have, must have done something to Creon, and Creon said like, oh, don't, don't destroy the monster. Don't, don't don't do anything for, don't do anything towards the monster. That mo that monster monster has a purpose. And like, you know, so basically a watch is like, huh? Huh, huh? Like in Korea, I'm just like, oh, damn. Damn, almost, almost gave, gave the tooth, uh, almost, almost severed the tooth of riding the monster monster about the purpose why I created the monster monster in the first place. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, Bamatoa showed up. Showed up and found the Minosaur monster, and they started to do battle. So basically, you know, and they morphed up into their into into their ranger forms. They started to battle the, the, the and started to battle the fortune teller monster, the fortune teller Minosaur monster. But things were not going very well. So basically, the Minosaur the the fortune teller Minosaur monster managed to predict their every move. So therefore, it was two steps. I had a bam and Toa. So basically, that's when the monster monster hit me, hit Toro, Toro with, uh, Toro with its beam that, that made his 
they made Tova, they made Tova, you know, express his true feelings that, you know, that this Microsoft monster is too powerful and so basically, once the Microsoft monster hit Tova with, with his feelings, Tova told, told Ben that this Microsoft monster is too powerful, too powerful for the both of us. We need the others to help us defeat this monster. So basically, like, you know, like, you know, you know, we, we need the others. So basically, it's for Tova, Tova truth that, you know, that you know that we need the others to you know to you know to defeat you know to defeat these Microsoft monsters and especially this one. So basically, Dan was kind of kind of was kind of shocked at what Tola said. You know, even though Tola even though Tola even though Tola know that you know you know that that the others that the other the others to to defeat these Microsoft monsters. And whatnot. So anyway, the monster monster took advantage. It took advantage and knocked him out of range of mode and got away. So basically, so basically, so basically, with no other choice, Bam and Tell went to go tell the others about about the prime minister being a being a member from their village and whatnot. So basically, you know, calling others for kind of shock and whatnot. So anyway. And so basically, they told Cole and the others about the prime minister being a member of the of the tribe village and whatnot, about the fortune teller mind soul monster and whatnot. So basically, like Cole and others, like you know, you know, you know, like you, oh, I did. So basically. So basically, like you know, Cole and others were like you know, like for sure we'll help you take down that that force and tell the mind to a monster. So anyway, so anyway, Ben was to the bow. So basically, Ben felt kind of to kind of Ben felt kind of the stitches of the prime minister, of the of the prime minister lady, and she's like you know, you know, I'll join you guys later. So basically, turns out that Ben, uh, turns out the prime minister lady made a deal with them before they left the hospital. It's, it's, you know, if the, if Ben and Tola can defeat the, her monitor monster, you know, she would tell about where, where, where the about the, where, where Ben and Tola's masters are. So basically, turns out that we, turns out that Ben and, Turns out that Bam and Tola's masters are not dead, but they disappeared a, 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 a while ago. So basically, they don't know where. So basically, so basically, Bam and Tola, Bam and Tola have been looking for their masters this whole time, and the prime minister the lady knows who says, says that you know I got information on on where your masters are. So basically, if you destroy my monster monster, if you get you know if you help me with this whole monster monster mess, I will tell you like I will tell you where your master is. So basically, Ben felt 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 that you know the felt that the prime minister lady was kind of lying what she you know felt kind of suspicious of the prime minister lady you know who you know about uh, about the uh, about kind of suspicious that that the prime minister lady you know doesn't know where the where about the, the, the doesn't know the whereabouts of, of the whereabouts of, of their master so basically Ben Ben told the others that you guys go find the monster monsters I'll catch up to you guys later so basically so basically, at the hospital, we see Gortz meant to Gortz meant to sneak in, uh, meant to sneak into the hospital, with, um, meant to sneak in the hospital and had a and uh, had a conversation with the prime minister lady. It's like you know, and the prime minister lady, I was front like you, or a wandering around and whatnot. So basically, Gortz was like you know, Gortz Gortz was to, Gortz was having a conversation with the prime minister. So, like you know, and the prime minister said I was once like you, running around trying to figure out my purpose and whatnot. So basically, goes like you know, like you know, so like you know, so basically like you know, 
so basically, so basically, I know, uh, uh, so basically, God's just like, I know the reason, I, I know, I know the truth about you and your mind so much. So basically, the Prime Minister should, should, should so, so you do. So basically, so, so, you know, and God's just like, you know, what are you planning to do about this? So basically, like, you know, you know like, she's like, you know, I ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> nothing. I already have something. I ain't trying to do anything about my mind so monster. Uh, so anyway, God just like okay, did okay, okay, did and God just left the armor, the, the armor wheel so the night go up to the uh, the uh, go up to the evil armor uh, armor wheel so the night just left. You know, at at the uh, after having a conversation with the female prime minister. So anyway, we see the female prime prime minister. You know. You know, left her hospital bed and went to another hospital. Went to a went to another room room next door. And she was comforting this old man by, uh, by bedside. So basically, he went to another room in the hospital where this old man was sleeping or not. She was comforting him, just touching her face, like you know, like she know who, like she know him. And that old man showed up. It's like you know, so basically. Basically, they figure out that you know you you like you know you let Kuya so basically they figure out that you let Kuya make made that monster monster from your negative emotions that way you can die so basically and the prime minister lady was like uh, like you know you must be mad so basically bands like you know tell me the truth so. Basically, you know, tell me the truth. So, so did you, uh, did you let Creon use you, use you, use you to make that mind so master? That way, that way, uh, that way you can die. Uh, you can die. And she finally came to, yes, I let Creon. <laughs> I let Creon use his powers to make that mind cell monster from my, from my negative emotions. That way I can die. So it turns out, turns out, so basically, and Ben was like, so this old man, this old man who's laying right in front of me, if you, if you used to be, used to be a lover, yes. Yes, because because our people can't age. Age once we become adults, we can't age. So basically, like you know, I want to be with him. So basically, turn out her lover is on her is on his last, you know, on his last leg. The reason why his her lover her lover is in the hospital because she's going to die soon. So basically. Okay, so basically, so basically, you go to you. So basically, you use me and Tora to do, to Tora to try to let you die. What like, and she came truth about the about about using Tora and Bam to. So basically, she told truth about it. She, she, she told Ben the truth about the mind cell monster and about her wanting to die and whatnot. So uh, and also and also she, she she also told the truth that she didn't know she didn't know she didn't have any any information on on where Toa and Ben's masters were. So basically, like you know, so basically, so basically, Ben gave her gave her a speech about you know you you so basically you dealt the cards you, that you dealt with. So basically, so basically, you have to deal with it. So basically, Ben just left and left the hospital, left the hospital, and and while while Carl and the others were dealing with the fortune teller minus or monster. So basically, it was kind of difficult for. Uh, so basically, it was kind of difficult to for you know. It was kind of difficult for the for Cole and the artist to do with the fortune teller monster, monster monster. But they managed to, but you know, so basically they managed to get get it together. But but they meant, you know they managed to hold their own ground until until the until the monster monster grow grow go monster size. So basically, you know, Cole, Simon, trying to go and that that came up. So basically, the monster monster. 
hate Darkado and Toronto Amigo or what is being that forcing the, the you know forcing the tell them the truth about each other. So basically, uh, so basically Darkado and and Toronto Amigo were arguing with, with one another, but you know it was a good argument. So basically, there was like you know you, you know there was just like you know expressing their two feelings about you know. About uh, about each other and also about the resources and whatnot, the relationship to coal and whatnot. So basically, you know, they managed to got the you know they managed to argue uh, argue their problems out and and work together. Then they formed the they formed the uh, they formed. The form the dynamite by Kane of Megazor and took down the fortune teller minus soul monster and the day was saved. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, after 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 Cole and after Cole after Cole you know, using the power of the of the dynamite by Kane of Megazor took down took down the fortune teller minus soul monster. Bam and so basically Bam and Toba went back to the hospital later that uh, later that day to go talk to the part, uh, go talk to the female prime minister. But turns out she left the hospital. It turns out she left the hospital and she left the hospital uh, uh, from her guard. So her uh, her bodyguard to talk, uh, to, uh, you know, to, you know. Uh, so basically, her bodyguard, you know, was looking for her because she left the hospital and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> Basically, she left the city and whatnot after 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 she had words for bear at the band after she had words for bear. So basically, she just up and left. So anyway, later that night, you know, bear and to uh, like you know, you know, Tom was, was still looking for her with the mission so and and Ben said, "Don't work." She used us. She was lying the whole time about about the world about our master. So basically, like Tom was like you know. Two, you might be right, but still, he might know something about our missing masters. Masters, because, you know, like, you know, it's no, you know, like, all this time, damn Toro were looking for their masters who up and vanished on them. So, basically, like, Toro was, like, was still hoping that, you know, if we find her, maybe she might give us a clue where, where our missing masters are. So, basically, like, Ben, yes. Well, Ben was like, you know, she lied to us, but, you know, but, you know, we'll, we'll find them, find them without her help. So, basically, like, you know, told, uh, so, basically, Ben Palms told her that, you know, we will find our masters and, and find get answers why they're, why they get, why they burn on them. So, basically, this is how the episode ended with, with Ben Palms and told her that, you know, we will find our missing masters and get, and get answers. Which is why why they left us, <laughs> why they up and vanished on them, and this is how the episode ended with Bam, Palms, and Tola on top of a building that night, and promised him that we will find our missing masters and get answers why they disappeared on us, and this is how the episode this is how the episode ended. So anyway, this episode was not bad. So basically, this we got a lot more details about about. About 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 Ben about the about about Toa and Ben's masters who are missing who are missing to you know disappear on them so basically they've been looking for their masters this whole time so basically we got a lot more details from this from this episode so anyway this episode was not bad so anyway like always what did you guys think about this episode was it good was it bad was it just was it just okay or just now nah? had Low, please let me know the comments below this podcast. So anyway, let's always. This is Michael from Screw Review. Sign off. One. Yes.